All right, now I want to figure out how to attach these things. These things. And I'm thinking they're just going to connect on each end to a pipe that runs down each side. So that means on these things, each end has to match so they can fit on the pipe and all be the right height, be the same height. So I just need to match up the ends of all these. Okay, this is my big square here. And I've got them all pretty much right to the end there. And let's see what the other end looks like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, this is a pretty good, pretty good 90 degree angled piece of plywood here. And wow, these all look. There's a bit of an optical illusion. It looks like it's not 90 degrees, but that's because these are leaning a little bit. Anyway, these are all within like half a centimeter of each other, like a quarter inch. So I don't think I need to trim the ends because if I take, if I just take the average, I don't know, like this one, I'll make them all this length. Then I just have to split the air on each side and I'll only have, I'll only be off by a couple of millimeters on the worst ones so I can leave them all the same length. That should be fun. And then what I have to do is pick one and then grind all of the rest of them to match the thickness so that when I rest them all on the end of a pipe, the heights will all be the same so that the sheet metal will have a, you know, all the same height thing to go onto. Okay, so let me figure out which one of these is the shortest, like the thinnest at the end, and then I'll grind them all to match that one. All right, so basically I've got these curvy pieces with a, and then there's a straight piece going across. And it's got my little rivets through there and a bolt through there. And I need all these ends to be the same so that I can put them on, I'm probably just gonna use the same square tube down the end. Uh, as long as it's the same height, they all fit on and all match up. And one of those square tubes down the end you know, going all the way down here would not be strong enough, but I'm gonna put more supports in, it'll be fine. I kinda of want this to be supported a bunch of times all the way down. So yeah, I think that'll be good. Oh, okay, this one is pretty thin at this end and pretty thin at the other end. So I should be able to grind all the others down to match this one, if they're not already matching it. Yeah, a few of them are. This one's definitely bigger. All right, and I put some some little circles so I know which one this is. Make them all match. All right, I've got this clamped on to the one I want to match everything to. And I just filed this, it didn't take much, so that I could put a piece of tubing there. They could both rest on it and both be lined up. And I was starting to do that end. And then I was like, wait a minute. Let me check on the boat where the supports are. Okay, so here's my boat. Uh, I'm gonna take off this whole roof thing and replace it, right? But I wanna keep this support because it's nice and strong and the one's matching one on the other side. And then this one and the matching one on the other side. And when I measure the distance from here to the other one, it, it's not gonna reach to where that tube, where I wanna put that tube. It's a little bit short, this, and that one's even more short. And then I also want to use the support back here, and that's like really far in. So this is this is kind of the perpetual mm, problem with modifying things rather than building them from scratch. Because if I build it from scratch, obviously I just make the supports be where I want them to be on the thing. But here, you know, I've got these things and those are super strong. I definitely want to use them. So I have to, yeah, I have to come up with a plan to make it work. You know what? Maybe before I worry about all that, I just get the roof off this boat 
cut it down to the, the supports where I want to put the roof. Then I can kind of get a good look at it. Boy, that's a, <laughs> it's a huge roof. It's like, I don't know how long it is, like 10 meters long from front to back. It comes all the way up to here. I'm going to get all the solar panels off and then cut it where I want to cut it. Which I'm not even sure of yet. <laughs> so I have to, I have to pick a spot. Um, whatever height I want. Alright, I'm going to start dismantling the roof. So I need somewhere to put the solar panels in here. Whoa, no solar panels. Alright. I have to figure out where to cut it. So I brought one of these things in. It's just tied up with a piece of wire right now. And Bellatrix and I have been trying to figure out the height it should be. We've moved it down and up a little bit. This seems to be a good height because I can sit on the side there without hitting my head, you know, on the roof that'll be there. I mean, obviously these things will hit me, but well, maybe not, that's not obvious because she fits under them. Um, but this, I think this is a good height. Not standing room, but it's easy to scooch down a little and get through, no problem. And I can stand on this and easily get up to the, onto the top. Yeah. I don't know, I'm still still playing with it. Moving it up and down. I'm kind of excited for the new roof. Partly because it's going to be watertight. The old roof was never watertight. But having a watertight roof, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Like it'll be a totally different boating experience. Because before, any time it rained, I was just like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm outside. But now, if it rains, I'm, as long as I'm under that roof, it's like I'm inside. Which brings me to another, one of the advantages of, of lowering the roof. So the lower the roof is, the less height there is on the side here and the less chance there is of rain blowing in sideways. So the lower it is, the, the smaller space it has for water to blow in sideways. Although I'm probably going to put some kind of rain barrier that I can, I don't know, roll up or down or whatever over there. I'll figure that out later. So yeah, this this seems to be the height that's winning right now. What do you think, Bells? Yeah. You like it where it is right now? So with these things, if I end up going with this, I'll probably cut them at an angle like that. I don't want to cut it flush at the top because things might climb in there or fill up with junk and I wouldn't know. But if I cut it like, like at an angle like that, maybe even, maybe even a steeper angle, then it'll be like there's a big opening here and I could actually use them to put stuff in. So if I have my umbrella or whatever, I could put it in there. So yeah, probably a nice steep angle, but it'll still be strong at that edge. Oh, and this is what I was talking about earlier about how these posts are not as wide as the roof is going to be. So when I put uh, an aluminum pipe down the side here, aluminum, it's not going to match up with the end. I'll have to either put a spacer to stick it out a little bit or have it just further in on, on these things. Uh, it's just one of those details I'll work out later. Of course, another idea is to make the roof movable so it goes up and down, but that's it's, it's too silly. I mean, it'd be cool, but no, this is, that's way more complication than it would be worth. Uh, I guess before I go saw crazy and start chopping these things, I need to disconnect the steering and all the pulleys and strings and all the wires, because there are all these wires that went up to the solar panels, to the stuff, down to the motors and the batteries. So yeah, just disconnect all the stuff. I got a wire all going all the way up here. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the guts of the boat. It looks like the speed controllers are probably still functional. This one's got some rust on the casing. This one looks like it's almost brand new. I bet it still works. Although I don't think I'm going to use either of them. I don't know, it's no guarantee. I might still use this Frankenstein switch though. Clean it up a little bit, take it apart, you know, get all the corrosion off the copper pieces. All right, no wires going from the top to the bottom anymore. Uh, I think the last thing to get off is the steering everything. Maybe I might even still use the, 
the steering column. I don't know. We'll see. I'll worry about the steering later. Oof. Well, that really changes the boat. <laughs> what am I going to do with this thing? Maybe I'll still be able to use it. I think you... I should use this, shouldn't I? Yeah, because it's Mount so it back cute. here somewhere. Back, I got to keep it. Yeah, I can put it right <laughs> Well, maybe I can flip it over. I mount it on the bottom instead of the top. Right. Somewhere around there, a little lower though. So you can sit there, wherever the chair is. Let's steer. Oh, that is wrong. Who that is? Maybe, maybe it will still be part of the boat. Oh, just like, just like that kind of ish. I'm gonna. And then to here, pedal. You want this? Well, maybe not lower, because you don't want it to hit the legs when pedaling. Oh, wait, maybe I should just try to keep it right there. And then get the string. I don't know where the string goes now. All right, up on the roof of this ridiculous boat, I'm going to have solar panels. Six, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what I mean. But anyway, they're going to be laying on the roof, but I want them to, to be able to flip up so people can walk ar around on the roof. I also want them to be able to flip the other direction so this one can face that way because this side of the roof is kind of sloped down that way a little bit anyway. So it'll get sun from coming in from that side. But if the sun's coming in from that side, this one's going to be sloped a little bit this way. So if, if, it could t if they could tip up and face toward the other direction also, that would be great. Yeah, so basically if they go like that, or like that. Because there's going to be times when facing the sun will be... Alright, option number one. You know, this is a... This is roughly a Lego solar panel. This is going to be my Lego solar panel for my little models here. And this green piece of stuff here, that's going to be the roof. So, roof, solar panel. And I'm going to ignore all the multiple solar panels that attach at the moment and just try to figure out one. So. If this is attached like so, that means it can tip that way or this way. So if this is the middle of the boat here, it can tip up and then it's just kind of like a railing and people can walk around and stuff. But then I can lay it down, tip it up this way if the sun is coming this way. All right, let's see some other options. Oh, first I should mention one of the issues with this way is that I also need an extra piece then. So when I tip it up, I need to put something here to hold it up. And when I tip it this way, that means I need to put something there. I mean, I can just have either something built in or a stick that does that, that, you know, kind of clips in or something. Okay, now this one can still do that like the other one. However, it's, it's attached in the middle which means for it to tip this way, it goes up like that. And just ignore that, I would cut that off in a real thing. But that means to tip it up this way, I just need a few different spots that I can clip it in place here. So I can, you know, obviously have it locked down in its normal position. And then I can tip it up and have it lock in in one spot or in another spot, depending on how much I want it tipped up. Heck, I could just even have it go like to Pretty vertical and just no, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I still I still want to have it be able to go this way, so it's just out of the way, so people can walk up here when you know not driving. And this also gives me another option. If I if I get these right on the edge, these connections, the solar panel could go right down over the side, which might be useful at times actually. Hmm, because that would kind of block under, under, you know, under here. Like maybe, I don't know, there might be, there might come a reason to do that. But I like, I like this more than being connected there and there. Yeah, this one's winning so far. All right, after significant messing around, I haven't gotten much different than what I just had. Other than, you know, I just put it under so it's not sticking out the sides, obviously. But there is a minor difference which is that these sticks are a little bit longer than before. It still connects pretty much in the middle here, but it sticks out so that where I put the hinges, 
it will be able to actually go right over the side. I mean, this is Lego, so I'm a little limited here, but a little bit further so this can go right down the side there. Okay. And then it'll be able to do that. And I have to have little spots where this connects down here and then can go flat down like that. And when it's flat down like that, since these stick out further, and I definitely want these sticking out further. I don't want the solar panel sticking out past the floor. Um, the solar panel will be on top of these, which holds the solar panel up a little bit. But that just means there's an air space. So any heat from the roof will have a chance to blow through and not just heat up the solar panel. And I'll make this connection on this side have a, you know, have a little space too. And this is of course all exaggerated because it's made out of Lego and whatever. But anyway, so it'll be like that. I'll have different connections so I can put this like that. So I can aim at the sun if the sun's coming that way. And then when I want to park for the night, maybe want to hang out on the roof, those can go up and out of the way. Or even if it's, you know, if I'm hanging out in the evening or whatever and some rainy wind is coming in sideways, I can put that down there to block the rainy wind from coming inside. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Can I come too? Uh, no, stay there because it's gonna be, it's gonna be a bunch of gross dust. I actually have to hold my breath for this. So stay over there. All right, got the motors off too. Man, I made those motors a long time ago. They don't even have all stainless bolts. There's a few not stainless in there. I put them together in the early days of being in Central America. And, you know, didn't have access to that much stuff yet. All right, so I should be able to cut those off too now. There's no weight on this. Well, yeah, I'll just cut that off and slide this off the top. The other options take out all the bolts and they come apart. Whatever, yeah, I'll just cut it and slide it off the top. Um, what's your question, dude? Uh, what's that box that has that picture of a chicken on it? What's in it? Where's this chicken box? Oh, in here. In there? I have no idea. Like just come matches. Oh, is it matches? Yeah. Bellatrix says, yeah, that sounds right. Sounds like it's matches. All right, I think we should. Chicken matches. Let's call it a day. Oh, I'm going to have a fun time getting that whole top part off. <laughs> I cut that right off. That whole, I don't know how much it's going to weigh. But worry about it later. Yeah, let's go. Let's go make some. We should. We should. We should what? Do more on the work of the boat. You want to keep working on the boat? Yeah, I guess it's not too late. Stop. All right, well, let, let me check what time it is. I think it's getting close to dinner time. Huh. You know what I kind of want to do now? I want to get the roof off, and now that the boat Even has ball, all the weight off it, I want to drive it around with the this pedals. Just ball. That, I would be surprised if that has any liquid left in it. You can try it though. Hey, close that hatch. That's where all my stuff is. Oh, 